Jess Myers on the rink live. We are at 3M Marina at Mariucci. Coach Bob Motzko coming up in just a second. A couple of exhibition games on tap next for the Gophers. Uh, tomorrow night, the US U18 team, and then New Year's Eve up in Bemidji, they take, take on Bemidji State. Uh, nice little break for them. They've been off for uh, at least two weeks, maybe three now. I'm getting my days mixed up, I apologize. But uh, then they have a few more days off and then they hop right back into a non-conference series home and home with St. Cloud State. So uh, schedule doesn't get any easier. As Bob Motzko likes to say, the uh, speed limit keeps going up. Uh, Bob Motzko will talk to us. Matthew Nyes will talk to us. Rare Christmas off for him. He's a guy who's been playing a lot of World Juniors and stuff like that in previous years. And then uh, Brock Faber as well, a guy who won a World Juniors gold medal two years ago for Team USA. So uh, we'll hear from all of them coming up here in just a second on the Rink Live. Stay with us. Hey, how, the, the Vikings are winning, so we get short crowds. I love it. Good trade off. Do you like that? I'll take it all the time. There's no bigger Viking guy than me. So. Media tackles, right? Yeah. <laughs> how was your uh, little bit of time off? It was good. I mean, it was. It it comes and it, you know it's college hockey. I mean, I think hockey season's so darn long, and when you can get a little break. And, and step away. And we had a cut. We had a, a few guys that needed to step away. Yeah. You know, not, you know, Nye's been going straight through, and then World Juniors and Summer World Juniors, and and he didn't touch his skates for a couple of weeks, and he needed that break. So I hope it's really something that pays dividends for us uh, as we move forward. A lot of schools have alumni games and things like that over the break. But do you tell guys to put the skates away, just get it? Break from it or no, they advice? no, they, they they all they need a it's a mental break more than a physical break. If they want to get you know outdoor you know, guys go back up north, I know they were getting on. Want they get on outdoor rink or play with their high school and um, that's part of the ritual. Sure. Uh, you played the USA team last year. I remember Jimmy Snugger got a goal that night, and you said it was uh, kind of a fun thing to see, even though it was against you. I mean, is it is it different when you've got? Kind of some future prospects he, out there playing, yeah, playing against you. And he hasn't stopped scoring, so. No, he uh, Yeah, it's, it's. I mean, it's it's. Uh, you know, it's. I mean, it's great. It's. It is what it is. But it, you know, for 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 Ollie and, and Handy to come back and and uh, uh, get to play, I know it's big for them. And of course, they want to score, uh, and we're going to try to make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> but if they do, I, I, it's kind of win-win. Your kids have played with uh, high expectations this year, and looks like it hasn't really uh, struck them out at all. No, no. The, there's two things with that. I think those expectations come with our program every year. Mm -hmm. So if you just if you commit to coming here, they're going to come. But the most important thing is is we got a really close knit group, and and uh, they just enjoy being around each other, and they're they're ha they're having fun together. It's been a really enjoyable group. Uh, to be with, and the, we're, we're getting like our old guys are holding the fort. Our young guys are coming, and when they meet together, and they, I think really the last few weeks going into break, things started to come together, mm -hmm. and uh, that's hopefully a good sign for us. I'm not trying to get you to disparage any of your former players, but you have a line: Cooley, Snuggeru, and Nyes. I mean, how's that ranking some of the lines you've had? Oh. Uh, that's a quite. I think the greatest answer for that would be to have them all back next year and <laughs> do it again. <laughs> uh, but they, I mean, they're, they're building some chemistry. And one, when you're with Nyes, who just is a complete, like in beast mode all the time, how he works and competes. And the other two have high compete level, you know. It, but it's got to come together. It just doesn't happen overnight. And what we saw, two things Snuggy scores a hat trick game three. So immediately you're relaxed. Cooley came with the weight of the world on his shoulders. And it took a month and a half for him finally just to 
wipe it away. And this last month going in, smile on his face, just playing free, and, and then it really started to gel. Um, but I, well, I'll tell you, Nelson Nevers and Brodzinski line uh, was equally as good for us and what they've been bringing to the table. Uh, um, we, we go four lines pretty deep. I wish you have to talk to your kids to make sure mentally they're in the right spot. Because with Cooley, you know, I'm reading about how he's the most anticipated Coyotes prospect ever. You know, <laughs> that's pretty big uh, stuff. And that, doing. and that was some of the weight he had early. Yeah. And we just keep, it's just noise. Just play hockey. Just, you, know, you know, and sometimes they got to kind of live through the noise. And then pretty soon they, re they start to realize it's just noise. And now we're a kid again. We're back having fun. And that, uh, there's a lot of pressure that goes on those guys. Um, and, but they, I mean, I, I think, you know, elite players like that, they've been pressure for a long time. I mean, and, but they, they get through the tunnel. And when they get through the tunnel, they're back just being a kid and playing hockey. Crazy to think a year ago, these exhibition games were the first chance some of us had to see an extended game from Justin Close. And now, He's the everyday guy. Is this an opportunity to get some guys in the mix that maybe haven't seen a lot of ice time? Well, for sure, yeah, for sure. With four guys gone to World Juniors, yeah. uh, you know, Bart's going to get in there, and and uh, Schmidty and Fish are going to get in there, and and uh, other guys are going to get elevated higher in, in line. It's, I I actually like this. Uh, you know, and there's you got to you know the Mariucci Classic went away, but you, you got to go back to when it all started. We were all, all in the same league together. Us. You know, the people that want to see us play North Dakota Duluth, they got to see them every year because we were in a league schedule. And I think that was one of the things that happened when the, when the, the breakup of the leagues came. We have to still play those teams. And, that, and by us getting eliminating the Mariucci Classic, at least temporarily, it gives us another weekend to play St. Cloud, North Dakota, Duluth, Mankato, Bemidji. And we have to get those teams because they're not going to come down here every year for the Mariucci Classic. They did the one year. So I know I was reading that article and, you know, on, on Christmas tournaments that are going away. Ours kind of had to because we got to play local teams. Yeah. And then it would be fun to go up to a Bidji on uh, New Year's Eve, too. Uh, Stocker going to get in as well? They, no, he no. can't. Can't. Okay. For red shirt, yeah. Got it. Okay. Um, you had said last time we talked it, the Doug Wu phrase about the elevator. What? what what was something he said about going up or down? Well, that's, Wooger used to say it. He goes, in any given moment, you're in a, your team, your elevators are going up or down. It's never sitting still. And so I, I always like that, you know. When you I've never made anything up. I steal everything. I, <laughs> somebody, so. When you played as well as you did going into the break, I mean, what do you do to keep that, keep that elevator going in the right direction? Well, that's, we just got great leadership and a great group of guys. Yeah. And, and. They're pretty motivated. Been watching World Juniors? I didn't. I, w I was traveling and I didn't get to see the first game. But then today we got. I'll, I'm going to tape today's game. I'll, I'm excited to see him. Yeah. yeah. And then hunker down through the tournament. Yeah. Typical stuff. Cooley, Stucker, stuff uh, we've yeah. seen a lot of. Good. Lucius got a nice goal. Got, got the game winner. Yeah. 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 Great goal too. And he's going to score too. So we got a good we got a good group over there. Yeah. Four you gophers, one former gopher. I, I I enjoyed it and I love watching it. So I'm not I'm not missing it because I'm gonna watch it. Sure. All right. Thanks, Bob. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's good to meet you. I had a uh, uh, someone called you yes. about a half. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll give you my number if you ever want to reach out. Like I, I didn't like it was Ben Hankins. Do you know Ben? Yeah, I know Ben. We smoked cigars. Yeah, well, Ben, he, he, I, so he goes, hey, Lavelle wants to talk to you. I go, well, I'm going to feel like a dork and call me. Lavelle, do you want to talk to me? Like, I go, are you sure?
Shack is not watching. I didn't know it was mine. <laughs> That's all I need to talk about. Oh, so by the line, are we supposed to start cigars together down on that? Probably not. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you. There's one up on that hill over uh, over St. Paul. Um, that was good. The Brenham, they were the only place that you could, at the time, you could smoke and drink at the same good they had a back room and you bring your and I had friends who had a membership that we go there every now and then. What was it called? Can I can't remember the that's that I'm trying to remember the name of it. Where was it at? <laughs> Up on the hill basically on thirteen St. Paul on the south side of St. Paul. It's gone now because they tore it down for something. Oh All that whole stretch down. I know what you're talking about. You talk about Lily Dill. Yeah. Yeah I was a member there. Perfect yeah. action. Yep. Yeah, that was on right. That got torpedoed. They're building this like senior house in there right. now. Uh, yeah. The other two are still on the ice. So that makes sense. It's over it. I got it. That's good. Yeah. So I was a member there for. We have got. Matthew Nyes and Brock Faber coming up. Unfortunately, they're still out on the ice, so it's going to be a couple minutes, but uh, stay with us. Jess Meyer's on the rink live. 3M Arena at Mariucci. Gophers with a couple of exhibition games coming up before they dive back into the uh, regular schedule starting in 2023. Good seeing you again. Good seeing you. Brock, Brock, how are you? Good. Good Christmas? Good. Really good Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> it was good to be home, for sure. Good to be home. See the family. Your coach talked Dogs. about you know, a physical and a mental break for your team after 
kind of that intense end of the first half of the season. Just have you been able to get away from it, and, and uh, or what's the break been like? Well, it's weird. Obviously, I haven't been home for Christmas for a couple couple of years now, so. Um, you know, I, I try to take a little break. I didn't work out much, but I, I just about skated every day, but it was just, you know, fun, nothing too crazy. So it was a good break for sure. And obviously I feel that now coming back to practice a little out of shape, but um, no, it, it's been good. Everyone's kind of in the same boat. We've conditioned the past couple of days and, um, you know, now we're ready to go for tomorrow. So it was a good break for sure. Moscow, once you guys get a mental break, more so if you wanted to go out and skate mm -hmm. around this line, did you feel like you got that? Yeah, for sure. I mean, just, well, you know, skating, you know, obviously school's off. So, um, you know, skating at home with buddies and then just going home, hanging out with the family, friends from back home. It's definitely, definitely a mental break for sure. And it's, you know, it's obviously much needed, but, you know, obviously all of us, we're, we're ready to get back and, you know, start the second half. So. Uh, just down to tomorrow to see those Team USA jerseys. Absolutely. It's weird. The 05s, they're getting young. <laughs> I feel like I was there a year ago. But, um, no, it's, yeah, it's awesome. Obviously, that's, you know, when you're playing at TDP, it's, you know, playing the Gophers for me was one of the coolest things ever. So, um, you know, I'm excited for those guys. And, you know, obviously, we're still still the Gophers, though, so we got to come out with a win hopefully tomorrow. So, um, but they're going to be coming. They're a great team. they got a lot of speed, a lot of skill. So, uh, we're gonna need to play our A game for sure. So I remember a year ago, Jimmy scored a really nice goal against the Gophers. I yep. thought about it. You know, rare, rare time you smiled when an opposing guy scored. But I mean, is it, is it weird when you got guys like Moore and Hendrickson that you know are gonna be here next year? Yeah, we might have to let them let them score a couple. You know, <laughs> if they're at all like Jimmy, then we'll let them score as many as they want. So um, no, yeah, those two are obviously great players, and we're looking forward to having them come in next year, whenever they do come in. So it's. Uh, you know, it, like I said, it's special for him, and you know I'm happy for him for sure. This is one of the coolest, coolest things I've ever experienced. Coming and playing here as a, you know, 17, 18 year old kid is special. So. Did you get a chance to watch the USA last game? I watched a little bit. Yeah, we had it on the locker room. So, um, you know, I watched a bit of that today. We'll definitely tune in. So, um, you know, obviously like watching watching Luke and. Chez and all those guys, Snuggy, cool as all those guys. It's special. The crowds seem awesome. Um, you know, it's obviously feels weird not being there because that's what I'm used to. But um, I'm happy for them for sure, and it's we're going to be tuning in and cheering them on. So. You can say this year started with you in Beijing. Yeah. So you've, uh, you know what the room kind of going through a little bit. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I've been thankful enough to play, put on that USA jersey a ton, and it's. Very special, and it's obviously a huge, huge privilege. So, um, you know, I know those guys. You know, wear that thing with pride. Um, so, it, it, yeah, like I said, it just makes you smile seeing those guys do the same thing you did. And it's, um, you know, hopefully they bring home a gold medal to top us last year. So, New Year's Eve of Bemidji. What, uh, what, what do you think of that? It's. I mean, it's, it's Bemidji is a great team, and obviously, I, I'm assuming they're going to get a pretty good crowd of in-state rivals. So. Um, you know, it'll, it'll be fun. Obviously, without those four guys, we're going to all need to step up. And, um, you know, it's going to be a battle, but we're looking forward to it. So. And you get a couple of new faces back there on D for, uh, for these games, too. I know. Getting Schmitty back in the lineup and Fish. I mean, yep. they, they've obviously played some good hockey for you, but mm -hmm. what is it like kind of working them back in the mix? It's awesome. You know, it's it, those guys, they, they come in, work every day, and, you know, have a, always have a smile on their face. So it's. It's special to see him get back in that, that lineup, and you know, I, it's going to be fun, like warm ups and everything with them. It will be, um, I'm sure they'll be smiling the whole time. It'll be awesome. So, what's the atmosphere been like here for games? Do you sense that the fans are sensing that this team can do something big this year? Absolutely. I mean, yeah, we've had great crowds. Uh, obviously, tomorrow is, you know, an uh, exhibition game. Thursday at three might be uh, a little quieter, but still, I mean, our, our fans have been awesome and. Um, you know, it's it's special running out on that ice, hearing the band and the students, and um, you know, it's it's definitely obviously something I don't take for granted. Considering my freshman year, we didn't have any, so um, you know, any fans feel like a lot to all of us, and um, you know, they're the best for sure. So, Mason, the one I interviewed him a couple weeks ago, he said, you know, after that first year where you basically had no fans, mm -hmm. your second year you start against, I think it was Mercy Hurst, and there were maybe three thousand in the yeah. biggest, but it felt like it was the biggest oh, yeah. crowd he'd ever seen. Same with yeah, same with me. I mean, it was the same deal. You run out and there's, like you said, two, three thousand people out there, and it's 
I was, you know, shaking in the starting lineup. So it was, uh, you know, like I said, we're just thankful for for all the all the fans that do decide to come out, and um, you know, they've been great this year. So. What's the best thing you got for Christmas? <sighs> Gosh, I got a new phone. New nice. phone. That was that was the. Obviously, those are getting expensive, so that was just about <laughs> it. But you know, I'm yeah, very happy, thankful for this for Santa this year. <laughs> Good. All right. Thank you, guys.
Okay, what was it like to spend Christmas at home after all these years of being in hotel rooms and everywhere else? Extremely nice. Um, getting to be with my family and the nice weather, it was, it was a special time. I was, I was thankful that I got to go home and get to see them. What was the best uh, Christmas gift you got? I got some new sunglasses, nice. so I'm going to need those in the summer. <laughs> uh, you know, it gets, uh, gets pretty sunny up here, and especially down there. So. And, and did you have some swordfish? We actually did, yeah. My nice. mom cooked it this year since my, my grandma was back in Slovakia with my older brother, so my mom cooked, and that was wonderful. <laughs> I don't know how you put in words or not, but just to be on the same line with Cooley and Snugger, well, what, what is that like? And did you guys need time to kind of gel at all, or did it just kind of click right away? Uh, I mean, obviously, two special players. It's a privilege to play with them. Um, it's an honor. Um, you know, something I have to work hard to, you know, kind of stick there. And um, so I think, you know, we kind of, we kind of didn't have the best chemistry when we started. You know, obviously, two skilled players, and that's that's a little outside my game. You know, I think I'm a little hard-nosed player that you know plays around the net. So I kind of. Uh, had to adjust a little bit, adapt to their playing style, um, but I think we kind of picked it up towards towards uh, towards the end of the break there. And um, you know, when they come back, I think it's going to be even stronger. And um, you know, I think we're going to really gel towards the end of the season. What type of adjustments did you have to make to kind of you know hold your end of that ball on that line? Yeah, I think you know, I just got to I think I just got to play towards the net. Um, you know, Snuggy, you know, he can shoot the puck. I got I got got to get the puck on his stick. Um, Cooley, I got to get to open spaces, take guys off him. Obviously, he can skate well. So, um, you know, I was kind of used to being the one that you know kind of drives the play. But you know, obviously, they're two wonderful players. So, the more I can get on the puck, um, the better for me. So, kind of lonely this week with those two gone. <laughs> <laughs> yes and no. We got a good group in there. Um, I'm always at the hockey house now, playing some board games. So, just keeping keeping fun. Who uh, who are you skating with this week? With those two gone. Uh, Put an Amy and Kurth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, right. Uh, they play Slovakia today. Did you guys uh, give them any? Uh, did you give them any like advice on track shots they can use? I, I think they got it all figured out. <laughs> they're two little, they're little rats on the ice, so I'm sure they got it all figured out. <laughs> nice, nice. Just you know, how do you look at these exhibition games? I mean, chance to get some new guys into the lineup, play with some different players, all that. Just yeah, I think you know, guys just gotta catch stride. You know, some players gotta you know catch that little fire and. Um, it's nice to get puck touches coming back from break, um, you know, kind of taking our skates off and kicking our feet up. It's, it's nice to get back on, taking strides, um, you know, playing the body a little bit. So I think this is going to be a real, real good warm up for when we get back into the season. The Minnesota kid did go home for break and go to an outdoor rink in the neighborhood or something. Did you get to skate at all when you were home? I did not. You know, I think, you know, with the summer I had and um, the last, last season with, with no break, you know, I think I, it was best for me to kind of stay off the ice and um, just rest my legs, you know, do some stretching and, um, some some mobility, but you know, I I I, uh, I was talking to Lacombe and he said that he skated outdoors. And when we drove back from the airport, I saw an outdoor rink that was like five minutes from here, and I, I couldn't believe it. Like I I think it was last time I skated outside was maybe 13 years old. So um, maybe I'll squeeze it in before our season starts. I'm actually it'll be pretty fun. You know, Tyler hasn't been hasn't been one here since '03. I mean, what would it mean to you guys to kind of end that drought? I mean. Everything you know, that's the reason that you know, you see guys like Faber in there, Lacombe, Johnson. Those that's the reason that everyone came back. You know, I think we have a special group. Um, you know, it means so much to our organization. You know, we had Nate Schmidt here today to talk to us, and um, obviously, someone that we've always looked up to. And you know, he showed us, you know, it's a huge privilege to be here, and um, so take advantage of all of it. And I think that's what we're going to do, and we're going to give it our best shot this year. Your coach says, uh, one thing he learned from Doug Luke is the elevator. Yeah, I mean, we just got to be consistent. Obviously, there's ups and downs of the season, but you know, the closer we can say to being consistent, the more successful we'll be. Um, you know, I think we we got to learn to you know win those one zero games. You know, obviously, we're not gonna um, you know win every game five one six one. It's it's gonna be the one goal difference, and I think that's the kind of team we want to be, and we're we're gonna you know really push to be that in the second half. But this team also should be pretty explosive. We have that two in two box too. I mean, the Wisconsin game. I think you guys were down two one and scored three little goals only two minutes before the end of the period. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, you have that in you, and that's a good trait to have. Yeah, I mean, we have a lot of confidence in that locker room mm -hmm. during the intermission. I don't think you know, there's everyone's heads up. You know, I think we have, um, you know, I trust our decor back there. Obviously, we got a really strong decor goalie. Um, we just got to have confidence in our players. You know, I think it's always going to come. You know, we just got to work hard and be competitive. 
what point do you see do you think things kind of fell into place for you and Julian kind of on that line? Um, I think it only took you know a month or month or so in the season. You know, a couple maybe a few weekends into it. You know, once I kind of um, got my feet under me and um, kind of noticed you know more I communicate with those guys. Obviously, they're younger players, um, not not as vocal. So you know, kind of getting them. Um, comfortable with the place, you know, even outside of hockey as well. I think that helps a lot. Um, that's kind of what we established in our relationship, and um, so that's really helped so far to build our build our chemistry. Do you think uh, Cooley kind of had a surge there right around the Thanksgiving holiday? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to see it the rest of the season. He's he's an incredible player. Skates skates phenomenally, and um, you know, I'm not I'm not going to be shocked when he's going to you know be leading our team to victory. Was there a stretch there though for Logan? I mean, you know, you had a couple major penalties. It looked like there was some frustration he was having with teams doing what they could to slow him down. Um, you know, did you guys have to give him any advice about you know kind of playing his own game and getting used to college hockey's pace and all that? Yeah, I think that was obviously new to him for having players. You know, kind of um, be like his mental focus. Um, you know, be in his face all game long. You know, I know he's a he's a star player, but um, I think it was kind of new to him at this level to have um, you know guys always on top of him and. Um, it, it just took time with him. You know, I think he kind of had to adjust as well. You know, it's it's, uh, um, it's a tough tough atmosphere out there, and I think he just wants you know so much success that he has such a high demand of himself that um, he gets a little frustrated at times. And I think we just got to you know kind of sit him down, talk to him, be like, it's all right, um, you know, cool him down. And I think you know once we started to do that, once he started to focus, you know, um, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to take it to the net, and I'm going to um, play structured hockey. You know, he was he was our best player. Did you play against? Uh, I played a first few shifts, and then I felt ill. So, oh, that's right. Yeah, so then I, I had to get off the ice. Well, I, I was asking your coach, like, Jimmy got a goal last year against the Gophers, and I think uh -huh. Bob never smiles when the other team scores, except that time he did. Yeah. I mean, is it weird when you've got guys like Beckett Hendrickson and, and Oliver Moore who are you know, going to beat Gophers and, and having them play against you? Yeah, obviously we're not going to want to let them score, um, not build their ego too much when they come <laughs> here. But, um, yeah, it's going to be fun to play against those guys. I'm excited to see what they have and, and what they can bring to us next year. Thanks, Matthew. Thank Appreciate you guys. Appreciate it. Nice seeing you guys. Yeah, good seeing you again. Yeah.